Welcome to the sun-soaked deserts of Southern Africa, where one of nature's most charming creatures thrives. Meet the meerkats, secretly architect masters. Beneath the desert sands, they've built an intricate network of underground cities, tunnels that stretch for miles. But that is just the beginning, the beginning of an incredible story about a graceful creature from South Africa. These small social animals live in the deserts and grasslands of Southern Africa. Meerkats, squirrel-sized members of the mongoose family are super cute, slender with large eyes surrounded by dark patches, brown striped fur, and a small pointed face. Truly curious and unique looking animals. They live in groups of different sizes, from as little as three to as big as 50 members. These large groups hold several families living together in a large community. Did you know that a popular name for groups of these animals is mobs or gangs? What do you think? Does that name suit them well? To me, this group really looks like an adorable little gang, especially when they stand like this on their hind legs, scanning the horizon for danger. Facing constant threats from lurking predators, this iconic behavior is absolutely vital for their survival. Meerkats are almost always on the move, making a continuous series of noises that one might call meerkat language. They have a sophisticated communication system using a wide variety of vocalizations. These vocalizations include murmurs, threatening growls and spits, scolding clucks, and a defensive alarm bark. Their calls can signal anything from the presence of food to an approaching predator. A study has shown how certain alarm cries made by meerkats are more effective than others at alerting the group to possible dangers. Do meerkats actually need to vocalize they look like they are communicating telepathically with their pack members, coordinating their movements and decisions silently. Fascinating. Staying in a group is crucial for them. Scientific analysis highlighted that mere cat calls are not isolated events, but part of a continuous stream of communication. These animals use these vocal mechanisms to avoid getting separated, which can lead to increased risks of predation or harassment by other groups. So, to prevent that from happening, a sentry meerkat will alert the group with specific calls if it spots danger, such as a bird of prey or a snake. These family groups of meerkats are incredibly cooperative, with members taking on specific roles and doing everything that's needed. Meerkat mobs are usually led by a male and female pair. The female mother typically gives birth to all groups pups, but sometimes these groups are bigger, holding several families together. In these families, moms are in charge. Meerkats have a matriarchal society with adult females generally slightly larger than males. She can have several litters a year, but usually she has babies during times when there is plenty of food, generally during the rainy season. Within their tight-knit communities, the duties of hunting, sentry duty, and babysitting are taken in turns and carried out as a team. Also, they mark their territory. Yes, meerkats have scent pouches located underneath their tails and use these to mark out their territory. This is achieved through rubbing on surrounding rocks and plants to provide a warning to other meerkats. Meerkat territories can sometimes overlap, which can cause fights, and these fights can go to death. These scent patches therefore discourage fight events from happening. Meerkats are the masters of digging. 
They spend a great deal of their time underground, creating elaborate burrow systems with multiple entrances and different chambers for various purposes. Even though meerkats themselves are excellent diggers, the burrows they live in will often be pre-owned by another burrowing animal, most often by African ground squirrel. A vast number of entrances and exits in these burrows will allow quick retreat or assist other members of the mob when they have raised the alarm of a predator whilst on sentry duty. Tunnels and chambers can vary in depth and width on different levels. Depending on number of family members, sleeping arrangements, and toilet facilities, these tunnels can be as deep as two meters. This depth allows for the temperature to stay regulated, remaining comfortable regardless of the vast temperature changes outside. Meerkats dig these safe places throughout their foraging area where they can hide in an emergency. But if caught in the open by a predator, a meerkat will try to look fierce, lying on its back and showing its teeth and claws. These strong claws and a keen sense of smell are outstanding tools for digging up insects and other prey. Meerkats primarily eat insects, but they are opportunistic feeders, also consuming small reptiles, eggs, plants, and even small mammals. Did you know they are immune to poison? Yes, meerkats have a natural immunity to some venomous bites, including those from scorpions. Dangerous scorpions are classed as a delicacy. Meerkats will bite the sting off of the scorpion's tail before they tuck into their meal, drag it through the sand, and chomp into the body. With its stinger removed, the scorpion's fate is pretty much sealed, but there's still venom on its exoskeleton. To combat this, meerkats have learned to brush off any remaining traces in the sand after removing the stinger. Adults will gradually teach pups how to properly eat a scorpion. But what's more, meerkats may be able to handle a bite from some types of venomous snakes. We can see that despite living in harsh desert environments, meerkats are well adapted to these conditions. There is something magical about these animals and sunbathing ritual especially when a group of meerkats is sunbathing together in their natural habitat, all standing upright. It is a mesmerizing sight, like they gain special abilities from sunbathing. Meerkats are known for standing upright in the early morning sun to warm themselves up after cold desert nights. As diurnal creatures, they take time throughout the day to sunbathe to retain heat for the colder nights. Their dark-skinned bellies help absorb heat quickly, aiding in their thermal regulation. Meerkats can live up to eight years in the wild, but life can be harsh and they have many predators. A strong sense of community, adaptability, and unique behaviors make them one of the most captivating animals in the African wilderness. Click subscribe and go with us through the most interesting world of nature. See you in the next video. World Cut.